Stories are melodies and harmonies of a different kind. My name is Osadmebi, and every week I will tell you a short story written by a Nigerian writer or author. That's the long and short of it. So without much ado, this week's story is by Ogechukwebo, and it's titled My Experience Being a Sounding Board. As I lay in my bed contemplating the direction my life was taking, my concentration kept being disturbed by my roommate who was recording a series of songs for a new album. You know how someone just keeps getting on your nerves because they want you to notice them? That is what I thought he was doing at first. So, as a good roommate who was excited at being his sounding board, I started clapping my hands to encourage him. I was secretly hoping he would shut up and leave me to my thoughts. But did that happen? No. Seeing as I had already applauded his efforts, I decided to ignore him, hoping that if there was no reaction from me, he would go and play his music in another part of the house. I picked up my phone and started scrolling through IG, smiling like a Cheshire cat as I admired carefully curated IG feeds. I got busy daydreaming of when my own IG feed would be miraculously transformed into a much sought-after space. My roommate continued with the music, increasing the volume as he went. Honestly, I was fed up. I had given him enough time to stop disturbing my daydreams but he was bent on being a pest. Suddenly, it occurred to me that perhaps he wanted more validation. So I decided to be a lot more supportive than I had already been. Maybe I hadn't clapped hard enough or maybe I hadn't cheered loud enough. Either way, I was going to be better. I clicked the power button on the side of my phone to screen lock it. Waiting for the next melody, I poised myself for rapt attention. He did not disappoint. He came at me with another song, and I clapped loud enough to wake up the other occupants of the house. With hands throbbing, I smiled to myself, believing I would finally have some peace and quiet. I mean, he had to be convinced beyond reasonable doubt that I was rooting for him. I had just about settled into a story on Twitter when, to my greatest surprise, he struck up another melody. Was there nothing I could do to satisfy this guy? This time, I did not switch off my phone. I calmly turned on the flashlight and waited. But I didn't hear any music. So I angled my phone towards the wall and saw him perched taking a breath in between notes. I clapped at this guy with all my might. The final cotton call. It was very fulfilling to see him on my palm, blushing red. There would be no encore. How did that saying go? You win some, you lose some, or something like that. I smiled with pleasure and flicked away his remains. Finally, I could scroll through social media without interruptions. I was observing what could be deemed a few minutes of silence for my not-so-dearly departed roommate, when, all of a sudden, another roommate moved in and started up a melody. Wait, though. This is sounding more like a duet. No, 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 no. I can hear four-part harmonies. It's like the last roommate called for reinforcements before his swan song. Should I call it his mosquito song? Send help, please. Oge Chikuebo is a writer who resides in Asaba Delta State. She is a hairstylist in training who enjoys speaking about personal development and Christianity while also telling stories. You can read more of her work and connect with her on Instagram and on X, formerly Twitter, at Oge the Writer. Details and links will be in the episode description. 
If you've got a story you would like to be featured on this podcast, or a published book you want to make into an audiobook, send an email to info at osadumebi.com or send me a message at osadumebi on either Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, or X, formerly Twitter. I look forward to collaborating with you. And if you've enjoyed this week's episode, please subscribe, leave a review, and tell a friend that stories are a good escape for a few minutes each week.